Like a backstory is I get I get a guy coming from the back. I'm in the back room, and he comes from the back. One of the guy works in the shop, and he goes, "I think Todd Golden's in the shop, like <laughs> getting basketball cards." I said, "Really?" And I, I think you just left. So then again, comes back again, and we have another guy named Tim. The shop. He tells me he's like he was so cool just talking to Todd basketball cards and basketball like just in the shop yeah. and so it's it's a cool community in, in the sense that we have coach golden in the shop so i want to know a little bit about kind of what your love of basketball like where did that originate from because you obviously played yeah. coaching now where that came and then also how does that permeate into card collecting yeah it's uh well my father played um freshman ball back at umass back in the day he was a year uh, below Julius Irving at UMass. Wow. So, you know, he had some great competitions oh, and yeah. battles in oh, practice. Yeah. And then when my dad was, you know, supposed to move up, obviously he wasn't going to get any time <laughs> with Dr. J there. So he ended up uh, kind of pivoting and, and going down the path of law school, which, you know, and became an attorney for many years. Uh, but that, you know, he, he got basketball into my life at a very early age. Um, and just from I was super fortunate. He used to take me to Suns games when I was a little girl in Phoenix, Arizona, um, and just uh, at the Jewish Community Center growing up, going to play there all the time. And, and that was really kind of where my love for basketball, uh, you know, began. Uh, and the card collecting, I feel like, was kind of that natural progression of just becoming a big fan of, of the NBA at that time and then all mm. other sports, Major League Baseball uh, specifically as well. Um, but, you know, I just remember there was a, a store growing up called Umpire's Choice. That was the name oh, of the wow. card shop on 16th Street in Camelback, about, you know, eight minutes from my parents' house. And, uh, you know, if I was well behaved, my parents would give me usually like 10 bucks every two weeks to go in there and rip some packs. And uh, as you all know, when it, generally leaving disappointed, you know, you don't pull anything that you're super excited about. But, uh, you know, it was just a, a great hobby. And, and I'm very analytical. Uh, we're very analytical the way we run our program. Obviously, with all the stats and all the numbers on the back of most trading cards, that was something that I was really drawn to at a young age as well. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as, as we said earlier, just in the early 90s, kind of collecting that era of basketball and baseball uh, and then taking a hiatus. And, and really when COVID hit, that was kind of when we jumped back in and really kind of started to filter through our collection and see what we had.